Alright guys, week 46 in the House of Horror and today I'm going to be reviewing the 1988 film Rabid Grannies. This was directed by Emmanuel Curving, produced by James Desert and Jonathan Rambert, also written by the director Curving and the cast Catherine Amory as Helen, Caroline Brakeman as Susie, Richard Cortica as Gilbert, Danielle Davin as Elizabeth Remington, Patricia Davia as Alice, Robert Du Bois as Father Percival, I've got to say Robert Du Bois um, in this looks like um, a very cheesy version of Dario Argento so if, you, if you've seen this then look out for him, he does look like Dario Argento, same haircut and lot so you'll know. Um, Anne-Marie Fox as Victoria Remington um, Florine Islander um, as Bertha um, and the synopsis is Grannies are the greatest they bake pies, tell stories and tell you to take you to the zoo they don't ask for an arm and a leg in return they want your whole body it's off to grandmother's house we go for rabid grannies the blood splattered tale of two little old ladies who open a surprise package from hell out slivers a mysterious fog that turns the grannies into ghouls who can't wait to sink their dentures into human flesh. Rabid grannies, these bitties bite. So, yeah, crazy motherfucking film, obviously by the title. And um, my opinions on this, when I got this, I thought it was an American made movie. Um, obviously with it being trauma released. But found out that it's an actual, it, it's actually a Belgian film. Um, that got um, that trauma got distribution rights for after um, the director con contacted Lloyd Kaufman and gave him a synopsis of a film that he was going to make and said if we get the funding for this and we make it ourselves will you distribute it and Lloyd Kaufman snapped it up and said yes do it and um, so off they went and they managed to get um, the funding for it by knocking on doors dentists mainly funded the film they were knocking on dentists doors all around um, Belgium and these dentists were seeming to give money away to them and they managed to make the film and Trauma then distributed it and Rabbit Grannies became the first um, European movie, Trauma movie so um, yeah it's got quite a, um, a historic um, place in Trauma being the first European Trauma film um, and yes with, with, um, with a title like Rabbit Grannies it was only ever going to be picked up by trauma. Um, it, it was made for trauma. Obviously, the guys had trauma totally in mind when they were when they got the ideas to make this film, and there was only ever going to go to like Kaufman with this film to distribute it. There's only like Kaufman who'd be crazy as fuck to distribute a film called Rabbit Grannies. So, but yeah, it's worked out. Um, I thought the director did a pretty good job. Um, and the film reminded me of earlier, early Peter Jackson stuff like um, Brain Dead, aka Dead Alive, but not as good. Um, so don't buy this thinking that you're going to get another um, Brain Dead because you're not. Um, but yeah, it did remind me of the way it was filmed and everything. A, a lot about it reminded me of Dead Alive, um, Brain Dead, sorry. Um, the acting was cheesy, as you'd expect. Um, but alright, um, although most of the voices were, if not all of the voices, were dubbed into an horrible English accent. Obviously they were Belgian actors and they didn't want the Belgian accent so they put English accents over them. And it was horrible and the dubbing was pretty horrible too. Um, so, yeah, they've, they've obviously thought, well, it's not going to sell much if it's got Belgian um Belgian accent so we'll stick English accent on it and it'll sell and it probably did so yeah um, the blood and gore was good um, very nicely done also the special makeup effects were great um, very pleased with all that I'll show you a bit of the special makeup effects on the back and I've got some pictures after this review to show you um, so you can take a good look at that um, but overall the film weren't bad, um, it, it, it weren't great either and it did get a little boring at times, um, 
it does seem like these grannies were just going around chasing people and that was the story really um, so I did get a little bit bored with it at times but the, the gore and um, the grannies make up effect look great so I'll give it a 5 out of 10 um, it's not brilliant but it's not bad either so thanks guys I'll see you